the decomposing remains of at least 17 civilians are retrieved in Marawi City Wednesday. Joint Task Force Marawi Commander Rolando Bautista says the cadavers are believed to be civilians killed by the mountain group. He adds that authorities are identifying the bodies, quote, so that their relatives can claim them and provide them a decent burial. The bodies were brought to Iligan City. Around 100 bodies of civilians were previously estimated to be sprawled on streets inside the combat zone. China on Tuesday gives the Philippines 15 million pesos for the recovery and rehabilitation of Marawi City. Government forces and local terrorists have been clashing in Marawi City since May 23. Chinese Ambassador Zhao Jianhua hands the check donation to President Rodrigo Duterte at Malahanyang. The Presidential Communications Office says the financial assistance is expected to, quote, significantly augment the resources of the Department of Health and Department of Social Welfare and Development. These two agencies are leading relief operations in Marawi City. Malahanyang says the Philippine government respects China's probe into the corruption allegations against Huang Rulun, the Chinese billionaire who funded the mega drug rehabilitation facility in Nueva Ecija. Presidential Communications Assistant Secretary Marie Banaag says the outcome of the investigation on the bribery allegations is all, quote, up to China. Uh, that is, of course, internal to China. And um, rest assured that the president, President Duterte, is one with uh, the president of uh, the People's Republic of China um, in its drive against uh, corruption. Huang's company, Century Golden Resources Group, is tagged by Chinese state media as a source of bribes paid to buy on pay, the party secretary of Yunnan province, in connection with the corruption case. A total of 17 firms and individuals are linked to the case, with the alleged bribes totaling 246 million yuan, or around $36 million, paid between 2000 and 2013. The Chinese real estate tycoon is seen as one of the major figures in the thawing of Chinese-Philippine relations. Duterte previously praised Huang as a good Samaritan who, quote, came out of nowhere and went to my office and said that he would help me solve the drug problem. House Majority Leader Rodolfo Farinas is declared persona non grata in Ilocos Norte, his own province, Tuesday. Eight members of the provincial board approved the resolution amid Farinas' political rift with Ilocos Norte Governor Aimee Marcos. Farinas initiated the probe into the alleged misuse of 66.45 million pesos worth of Ilocos Norte tobacco funds to purchase motor vehicles. Ilocos Norte Provincial Board Member Da Vinci Crisostomo says, while the persona non grata status means Farinas is, quote, an unwelcome person, the House Majority Leader will still be allowed to enter the province. But Farinas says he cannot be declared persona non grata since the status can only be imposed upon foreigners. He plans to sue the officials who approved the resolution. Farinha says, quote, I will file cases against them for damages for the violation of my constitutional rights, for causing me undue injury through evident bad faith. Another major cyber attack appears to be ongoing, affecting a host of companies and organizations around the world. Forbes reports that Ukraine's government, its national bank, and power companies were all warned of cyber attacks. Ukraine's airports and transportation services are also affected by a ransomware outbreak. Danish company Maersk and American drug giant Merck also report being affected by the cyber attack. Maersk says, quote, Maersk IT systems are down across multiple sites and business units due to a cyber attack. Advertising agency WPP also reports similar problems, along with aircraft manufacturer Antonov. At least $300 in Bitcoin is being requested as ransom, much like the WannaCry attack in May, which affected around 200,000 computers in 150 countries. In support of National Disaster Consciousness Month, Rappler will hold the first-ever Agos Summit on Disaster Preparedness from July 7 to 8 at the Samsung Hall, SM Aura, Taguig. The summit will gather disaster management experts, 
stakeholders, and volunteers to talk about how we can all be better prepared for climate change and disasters. Tickets are limited, so register today at agos.rappler.com. Mm-hmm.